Welcome to this channel. My name is uh, Uncle P and you're on to ECB Edu blog. And then um, we're going to be looking at uh, specimen D and uh, E. If you're new in this channel, don't forget to hit the subscription button. If you have any question, go to this comment section and drop your question. Okay, now we're going to look at D and E. In our previous video, we, have, we looked at A, B and C. We're going to look at D and E in this uh, video. Okay. Soldier termites and honey bee. First, we're going to start with the habitats. Habitats. Habitats of soldier termites. Habitats of spacemen D and E. Remember, D is soldier termites okay what is the habitat of soldier termites is very simple habitat is an anthill or termiterium that is the habitat of soldier termites you see them in anthill or tamiterium or tammy tree. Okay, then habitat of E, which is honey bee. Honey bee. Honey bee lives in hives. Hives. Anthill, tammy tree, tamiterium. That's the habitat of soldier termites. Hives is uh, habitat for honey bee. Okay, and now let's look at the cases. Cases. Cases in specimen. Specimen D and E. You remember that cases in termites. Termites. The following are case in termites, the following are those, um, um, no, both of them are social animals, you must take notes. One thing that is common between D and E is that both are social animals. So the following case are in termites, apart from soldier termites, all that things you see in the case of anthill is the queen. The queen. You also see the king, king termites. You also see the worker, worker. You also see workers, you also see the soldier, soldier, there are two types of soldier, we have the nasty soldier and the mandibule soldier, nasty soldier and mandibule soldier, and then finally we have the name. So in the case of termite, these are the things you see, but then the examiner would like to ask, so since the specimen is solid termite, as to give four other Case in termites. Queen, king, workers, soldiers, and nymph. In any case of termites, there is always one queen. In the time tree, only one queen is found in the time tree. One king. Then in total number of um, Termite in a termite tree in an anthill is around 1,000 or above. So out of 1,000, one will be king, one will be king. 5% of 1,000 will be soldiers. You do the calculation of 5% of 1,000, you don't know how many soldiers will be here. The rest will be workers and men. So there are more workers than any other members in the colony. More workers than any other members of the colony. Okay. Now, they have their different functions. That is why they are social insects. In this case, there are div what we call division of labor. Every member of this case has its own peculiar function. Like the function of the queen is to lay egg. The function of the king is to mate the queen. The function of the workers is to build their tamitry 
and feed the rest members of the colony. The do the do the do two function the quarkers. They build the tamid tree. They are ant hill. They are place where they live. And on the other hand, they also feed the nymph. They give food to soldier. They give food to king, and they give food to king. That is the function of workers. Then the function of the soldier is for defense and offense. They defend their territory. They defend their territory. Then the function of nymph. Nymph doesn't have any function in this case. Nymph is just like um, um, uh, a hashed form of egg that is about to transform to any of this form. So they don't have any rule because they are still immature. They are just products of egg that the queen laid, which after molting or carrying out egg dices three times, they will give any of this. But I'll still talk about this name shortly. These are cases you see in termites. Then if you go to specimen E, there are also cases, cases in specimen Specimen E or specimen E being honey bee case in honey bee just like a termites the honey bee they do have queen the honey bee do not have king what they have as king is drone and then workers what they do not have is soldiers. You, know, you can see soldier in Tamite. One of the specimen that I bring out is soldier Tamite. But in specimen E, they didn't specifically mention any of the member of the case. They just say honeybee. Which on the exam day, the teacher may provide the queen, the drone, or the workers. The function of the king, the queen, the queen, what replaces the, the king? Here in the honeybee is a drone. The drone, the drone and the queen are called reproductive. The drone mates with the queen. The role of the drone is to mate with the queen. And the role of the queen is to lay egg. Then the role of the worker is to build their hives or their, their habitat where other members live. And also, workers also feed the queen as well as the drone. Okay, so the 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 drone is like the drone in honeybee is like the king in termites. The difference between a drone and a king is that a drone has modified wing. It can fly, but the king of termites lack wing. So this flies like a drone. But this is king it does not have wing so what relates to king in the case of honeybee is not called king but they are called drone still on the soldier termites now let's concentrate out of their their case we'll just go straight to the soldier termites let's look at the observable features of specimen d observable features of specimen d one of the features observed is that there are three pair of legs or six legs. Position, I'll write it really. Position of three. Three pair. Three pairs of walking leg. That is observable feature. Two, they are blindless. They are, sorry, they are blind. Or blindless, okay, blindless. That means they do not have eye. Three, three, possession of Three body 
division. That is, there is a head, there is a tinty, there is a thorax, and the abdomen. That is one of the things that is observed. For there is absence, absence of wind, absence of wind, possession, possession of powerful mandible, mandible. Possession of powerful mandible. Next, possession, possession of chitinous exoskeleton. Okay, I think this is enough observable feature of soldier termites. Possession of three pair of walking leg, walking legs, sorry, walk. Not walking, walking leg for movement. They are blindless, they are very blind. Position of three body division, the head, thorax, abdomen, absent of wing, that means they cannot fly, holy crow. Position of powerful mandible, and position of exoskeleton made of chitin. There are some of these features here that is very, very adapt adaptive in nature. One is Walking leg for movement. Why do they have um, three pair of legs? It's for movement. Why do they have powerful mandible? It's for mastication of vegetations or wood or wood. Why do they have exoskeleton made of chitin? It's because this chitin gives them protection. These are features that are observed in soldier termites. Remember, I've told you a habitat is an ant hill. It can also be ant hill can also be related to tabii theory. Okay, then another my blowing question again. Examiner will want to pick question again would be um the classification of soldier termites as well as honeybee. But before we go to the classification, let's also look at honeybee observable features. In honeybee observable features, I'll leave this like this. It depends on the honeybee that was given. If the honeybee is more a worker, the worker is very easy to, to procure. If it is a worker, the worker possesses three pairs of working legs. This time around is for specimen E now. The same, the same um, three pairs of walking leg. Workers of honeybees are blind, just like termites. So this can also come as similarities between D and E. Again, body division is also three in honeybee. Then where we have in termite, absent of wing. Then for honeybee, there is presence of wing. Sorry, wing still remains here. But here, there will be what? Presence. Presence of wing. Okay. Then, of course, position of powerful mandible, just like in termite. And then position of exoskeleton of chitin. This is for honeybee. The only... The only way, the only point, the only time it's the feature differs greatly is in wing. Remember, both the worker of a honeybee and a soldier termite are both sterile. Sterile. The, uh, the sterile means that they are not reproductive. The function of a worker of honeybee is to provide food for the other members of the case or to build their hives. The function of the soldier termite is to deface their territory or their ant hill. Okay, that is on the soldier termite and then honeybee. Okay, let's look at their differences between soldier termite and honeybee. Quickly. Under the differences, it should be tabulated. On this hand, we have soldier termite. 
on this side we have honey B. Difference is one. Okay, let me start first with the structural differences. Structural differences. Structural differences. Let's start with the wing issue. Here, the wing here, wing, wings, absence. Here, wings, presence. Does it mean brothers me? Presence, absence. Okay. In terms of the color, the sodatamite appears to be to be a little bit reddish brown in color. Reddish brown color. This appears to be pale yellow. Pale yellow color. Remember, we're looking at the observable structural differences between the termites and the honeybee. Okay, let's look at the third points under soldier termites. When we look at the 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 rule of a soldier termite and the rule of a honeybee. A soldier termite, a soldier termite, but this, this point is not structural, these two are structural differences, but this one is just a difference between the both of them. A soldier termite, a soldier termite defend territory. They defend territory or timetry, timetry, timetry. But here, a honeybee like worker, a honeybee like worker, that's what you're going to see, defend territory here, provides food for other members, other members of the kids. That's honeybee could be worker if it is queen. A queen is for reproductive. It is if it is drone, a drone is also for reproductive. Good. Now, next one. This one will be structural. This one has a big, big head. Or I can say large, large head. Present. Here, small head. Present. These are structural differences, but I'm going to add this next point as just difference, but not structural. In terms of metamorphosis, it's metamorphosis here is incomplete. I can say undergoes, undergoes incomplete, incomplete metamorphosis here. Under goes completes completes metamorphosis. Okay. Now, when we say something on the goes incomplete, what does it mean? That is soldier termites in their case, their queen will lay egg. Egg is changed into a nymph. The nymph will mount about three times to give you any adults. The, the metamorphosis does not show any visible pupa. So it's not complete. But a honeybee will lay egg. Egg is hatched into a larva force. The larva is changed into a pupa and the pupa into an adult. So you now notice that there is a larva stage, there is a visible pupa stage here. There is no visible pupa at lava stage. So here, metamorphosis is incomplete. So these are differences. But let me just take those different structural differences. If they say discuss or differentiate three structural differences between soda termite and honeybee, you start with what you see. 
you see wings are absent in pseudotermite. This has wing in terms of their color. Color is a structural difference. The different diameter is not a structural difference, but it's just a normal difference. Large head is a structural difference that they undergo incomplete metamorphosis is not a structural difference. So please, mind you, look at the question very well and check the nature of the difference. If they just say different sheets, what are the differences between specimen D and E? You can write any of these. When they say different sheets, structural difference between specimen D and E, that means those ones that are ticked are those ones that are more of structural differences than the other one. Like um, after the differences, you should know, you should know there are going to be similarities. So many things are similar between the two of them. So many things that are similar that is not structural is that both are social insects. Yes, both are social insects. Both has three pairs of walking legs. Yes, both has a type of exoskeleton made of chitin. Both are insects. These are differences. But when I come in terms of structural differences, I want to go with uh, what are those things that are structural in them. One, both possesses three body divisions, head, thorax, abdomen. Both has jointed appendages, jointed legs. Both has pair of antennae. Okay. Uh, okay. Then uh, both possess, both possess hair. Okay. Both has segmented abdomen. These are structural differences, uh, similarities between termites and the uh, insects. Okay. And sonar similarities that can also come. Then quickly, before we run off this um, video on D and E, let's look at the economic importance of specimen, specimen D and E. Economic importance. What are the economic importance? Let me start with economic importance of, this, of specimen D. Economic importance. Importance. Or specimen D, soldier termites. Economic importance can be good or it can be bad. Okay, let's start with the bad economic importance of termites. First of all, a termite destroy wooden material. Wooden material. Destruction. Destruction of wooden wooden materials. You can mention those materials that are destroyed by termite. You can mention electrical wooden pool. You can mention table. You can mention chair. You can mention bed. These are wooden material. A termite destroy this material. Okay, these are very horrible economic important because. Them destroying this wooden material will affect the economy greatly. So let's look at another, another economic important, but this one will be more beneficial. Economic important. Because you most likely see them going back and forth on the soil. They are burrowing in and out of the soil will tend to increase soil fertility by aerating the soil. So they create soil erosion, erosion of the soil, erosion, erosion of what soil. By this erosion of the soil, the soil is loosened, loosened. That once the soil is losing, oxygen can permeate into the soil, and that is very good for crop yield, and the crop yield, as well as availability of certain nutrients in the soil. Aeration. So the burrowing help to aerate the soil by losing it up, losing it up. Then the third economic importance of termites is that a termite is edible. Edible is very edible. Edible means that it's something that can be eaten as it is proteinous. Some people eat a lot, a lot of them. 
termites. It serves as protein. It serves as protein, basically an animal protein. So these are economic importance of specimen D. Let's look at economic importance of specimen E. Economic importance of specimen E. Now, honey bee. They mix honey. They mix honey. Right. Production of honey. Production of honey to edible. Edible that is source of protein because they are eating. And then three, they can help in pollination. The economic importance of honeybee, one, production of honey, two, they are edible, and then they create a pollination. Okay, these are on economic importance. I will quickly explain this before we look at their classification before we end this um, video on E and uh, D and E. Um, I want us to look at these termites. Termites. So the termites and then honeybee. Both are social insects. Okay. The several case under termites. The king, what leads to the king is grown. Queen is answered, queen here. Walker is called walker here. Soldier, soldier, there is no soldier here. Okay, maybe nymph, there is no nymph here. Okay, interestingly, there are five cases here. There are only three cases here. These two are related, these two are related, these two are related. Okay, now, in an ant hill, ant hill is a place where they live, all of them lives. In an ant hill, like I said before, there will be one king and one queen. Only one king and one queen must exist. The role of the king and queen is for reproductives. Yes, the queen lays a uh, which is hatched into a nymph. The nymph will mount to give you either worker, soldier, either give you worker or soldier, or even a potential king and potential queen. So a nymph will mount to give you a new repeat. So let me call it a reproductive. If I will call it wing, winged reproductives. It can mount to give workers and then soldiers. Okay, then the soldiers and the workers remain in the territory with this king and queen, but the wing reproductive, because they are winged, they will fly away from the tummy tree and go to another location. The movement of this wing reproductive from this old tummy tree to a new tummy tree is what we call nup, so called nuptial flights. Nuptial flights or wedding. Wedding flights. Wedding flights. Okay. The wing reproductive can be a king, a potential king, or, or termites. That will be potential king or termite that will be potential king. They will fly out from their old territory to a new location where they will start new life. When their wings are dropped or removed, they become new king, new queen, which starts reproducing to form other workers, soldiers, and their names. By that, a new time tree is rebuilt. That is one interesting thing about termites. Somehow in bee, honeybee, they do undergo nuptial flight when the egg is hatched into an adult. New adult like drone and queen will undergo a nuptial flight. 
where new colonies are built for the next uh, generation. And then quickly we look at classification of D and E into kingdom, kingdom, phylum, and then class. Both of them belong to the same kingdom, both belong to the same phylum, both belong to the same class. This can also act as their, their, their similarities. The similarities between these two specimens. Kingdom, both belongs to Animalia. Phylum, both are Arthropoda. Class, both are Insecta. Okay, that is for soldier termites and then honey bee. Okay, that will be all for this specimen D and E. In my next video, we're going to be looking at G and F.